Hope you've been having a reaction. This time we've got some new Carly Rae Jepsen. Now this is just under a year after we had The Loneliest Time. I reacted to that on my channel. It wasn't my most well received Carly video. I didn't vibe with it totally. Knowing that these are, I think, B-sides from that. It's called The Loveliest Time. So it's kind of like you've gone through the sadness and now you're kind of coming out of that. So I do like the storyline behind it. I'm going to go in with a lot more open-minded and not expect, you know, like a baby. Like just go in with that mindset. So I think I probably will enjoy it more, hopefully. If not, it is what it is. I know a few of you weren't too happy. However, we're here with a new era. Technically a new era, it's a totally different name. It's not listed as B-sides or anything like that. I'm just very keen to go in and see what she's got for us. As you know, I do love Carly Rae. I just didn't enjoy the last album that much. Let's get one of these going. Full on cuts as always are on Patreon. Links are down below if you want to check out any of my social medias. All that jazz. You know what to do. But other than that, let's go in with the loveliest time. We're here to have a lovely little time. The opening song is called Anything To Be With You. Let's go. Never over, never over, never, never over. Okay, maybe it will be a bit more upbeat. Everything you want to do. Everything you want to Interesting intro to this loveliest time. Very eclectic, very experimental, I guess, in terms of like the sounds, a bit like almost tinny, like like tins clapping together. Some cool moments. Interesting, I guess, like, yeah, super cute song message, you know, you want to do anything with this person. I'm eager to see what else there's to come. I hope it gets a bit more palatable for me. It's like it was just nice, a bit jarring at times, I suppose. Let's see what we've got, Carly. I don't know where we fell out of love, but <laughs> somewhere along the way, it's just not super connecting with me. The next song is Kamikaze. Let's go. the song definitely more my vibe in terms of like between those two it just needs to hit a bit harder but like I said the vocals with her like when you just in tune with it it's so nice and the production they're just that lower deeper kind of vibe I hope it follows on this trail because like this is definitely going to be more my vibe in terms of what I relate to with her next song's After Last Night let's go <laughs> Sound like a 
there's a few different genres in the song. For me, it's just not gelling. And I was a bit cautious going to the album because I didn't vibe with their last album and just having an album come so soon after a previous one. I'm pretty sure these are like the B-sides from that album. So it's definitely, I guess, not my vibe with her. And I know artists grow and progress. And I guess it's hard when you really love a certain sound from an artist and not doing that. I don't know how well it's going to relate or connect with me just because I feel that it's not really believable. Like when she's singing it, it just sounds like she's singing it. I feel like really tugging on my emotive drive and whether that's like a bop or a sad song like they still do it either way it's just not exciting to me i suppose and i'm kind of like okay all right and i know people aren't gonna like that but it is what it is can't like it all and if you're loving the album i'm loving that for you it's just i'm, I'm yet i think kamikaze is the best song for me so far and even that didn't hit as hard as i think it should have next song is airplanes let's go I experimental stuff it's almost hard to get into because it is so like which way is it gonna go so it's kind of unpredictable which isn't necessarily good or a bad thing sucks because I was I was hoping to vibe it. Is that it? Uh, um alright. Interesting song. Eclectic, weird, jarring. I don't know, I saw a post on Instagram and it was like, you know, this poetic little swipe through of all you know what the album means to her. I don't know, just I think it's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not going to say too much because people don't like it when I say mean things. So, I don't like it so far. The next song is Shy Boy. Let's go. Is it flowing? Just the trackless flow? I don't really think so. Hey, fuck yeah. It, right? Obviously still quirky, funky, but I don't know, is that probably a bit disco-y, which isn't my favourite genre, but that was just like doo -doo, doo -doo. But like fun, I just believed it, you felt that when she was singing it, you know, you could just see her having fun and like, you could, you could picture her there at this place, doing stuff Just for me, believe it, when I believe a song and when it gets me, and I don't know, I just feel it, I vibe it And like I said, it is still a bit quirky in a sense, so it still fits the album in terms of what we've heard Like that, a bit more experimental vibe, just a bit cleaner, a bit more polished, a bit more rounded And I guess a bit more classical song like start finish, I guess that's why it's a bit easier to listen to as well. Number six here, my favorite number is again the best song of the album. It's called Collage. Let's go. Very nice. 
What's collage? This sound, that's sick. production absolutely so cool and captivating and weird and just good. Well, that's called collage, especially with a K as well. Yeah, I love that. I love the piano. That was cool. Last two songs absolutely getting me back. Again, it's not the normal, typical sound, but it's just still so much nicer than what I've heard. I guess, like I said, they're probably the most easiest and accessible songs, so maybe I'm just super basic in that sense, but that was just so nice. I like that. Yeah, like, did I do it to myself? You're always in my corner. I love, again, the relatability and just that storytelling. Servant to a secret sleigh. Like, that is just such good writing. Next song's called Shadow. Let's go. Different direction now. <laughs> Shook of the production. God, that seven songs in it has flown by, I suppose, in that sense, because they are all so different and so intriguing in their own right. Some gelling, some not. Yeah, overall, weird album. I mean, weird. It's got to be her most experimental. What are you guys thinking so far? Let me know. What's your favorite song? Obviously, let me know in general. But for me, Shy Boy Collage, absolutely my two favorites. Shadow, a bit quirky, easy. It's good. Just not as good as those two. Although the lyrics sound like the bloody, all those long words. Very funny. I love it when artists can, you know, work those into songs that you wouldn't expect songs to have. So that was cool in that sense. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Next song is Psychedelic Switch. Let's go. With a name like this, we should have a banger. I think all my life I've never met anybody like you. Cute. Again, I don't know if it's just a lot smoother, these songs, like in the latter half, but those first few are very, like, again, jarring and almost, like, quite scattered, whereas these just feel start, middle, finish, like a, what we expect, I guess, in a song. In saying that, you know, experimental stuff is still a good, I know, just not with those ones that I've heard, but this one's so cool. Like I said, it's almost like a switch goes off when you find someone who just makes you the gels with. The related with the end song is just, yeah, perfect. Enough of the funkiness, coolness, cuteness, lyricless, like I said, just, like, the flowing was very cool. Definitely my favorite song, like, I want to go on this study, and that was cool, just, like, Fun. That makes me think of the love this time. That makes me feel lovely. Love that song. Next song's so right. Let's go. Some crickets. Good idea. Oh, yes, the little voices. Is he 
as you get to some of the older stuff. That bridge on the album is one of the best. Just like so perfect. Don't say it. Like you just want to scream that. I want to learn that. That's going to be on repeat. That is absolutely the best song on the album, period. Regardless of what I thought of The Loneliest and now The Love List, that song alone is worth listening to the two albums and not vibing totally. Oh my God. But seriously, Schleibo collage, Psychedelic Switch, so right for bangers, but so right absolutely takes the cake. That is the creme de la creme. Oh my God, I can't wait to finish the album. Just go back to that one song. I have that on repeat for the rest of the day. Next song's come over. I'm like, let's just fucking go now. I'm ready to just go. Like, come over. Let's go, Carly. Let's go. Oh, I just want to keep like partying now. I see you. Let's go. Psychedelic switch into So Right was just so nice and then come over just a bit lighter but still a nice easy song that you can just buy with and clearly you know if Psychedelic and So Right just got you in the mood like I think come over good track place because you still like you know just want to have fun come over and all that stuff next song's put it to rest let's go definitely more cohesive these songs Like three minutes twenty feels so long, so full. 
all so much in it. That's like the best possible eclectic experimental little I say experimental just in terms of it's not like a simple straightforward pop song. I can't believe like if you compare the first four songs, they're so far removed from me. Like I can't really remember them. Whereas these ones that are just absolutely like just getting ya. So good. I mean, obviously that's just me and my taste and maybe I've just kind of been more accustomed. I guess maybe those first four songs set us up for this and now these songs that just feel a bit more fully rounded. I don't know. I don't know what it is. God, this last half of the album is absolutely where it's at for me. Next song, Stadium Love. Let's go. Hey Carly, watch this. <laughs> Oh, what the Oh, what? That's the bloody... That sounds like the beach song, but... Like, oh, like lights. Or the Western Wind song. So weird. I need to play that start again. Like, was that the hey, Harley? Watch this. Don't break it. Sounds like summertime. Definitely, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but it, it's got to be because obviously, why would I think that without it being it? Let me know down below if it is. Very cool. Again, like, still a cool, funky song, but that's what I mean. That sounded more believable and just like her having fun, and maybe, I don't know why that is. I don't know. I, I want, I'm keen to go back and listen to the album now because obviously it's grown on me. And like I said, from five to now, there's only four songs that I really haven't super vibed with, to be fair. And I can't believe we're already at the last song, and it's called Weekend Love. We just had Stadium Love, and now we've got Weekend Love, but she referenced Weekend Love, so I do love a little bit of a self referencing there, Carly. Let's see how she's gonna wrap it up. Let's go. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> ended how it started for me. Like, I wouldn't listen to that song again. Obviously we know Shy Boy, Collage, Shadow I think was like maybe the little weak one in there, but Psychedelic Switch, So Right, Come Over, Put It To Rest, absolute four bangers in a row. Stadium Love, I love that, that was quirky and weird. Weekend Love, eh, not for me. Anything To Be With You was weird, eclectic, like it still worked. Kamikaze was cool. After Last Night Airplanes, just again, that, that weird, just like not hitting or not like emotive pulling for me. Very weird album. At moments you could definitely feel that YOLO and just letting go, being free, doing whatever she wants. I mean, she's done that on the whole album in saying that, you know, like I guess credit where credit's due. It's not a super mainstreamable album. So I love that artists just do what they want. You know, this is obviously what's making her happy at the moment. What I love the most is that there were some songs that absolutely hit and you know I really vibe with absolutely will be going back in with them. I can't go over Psychedelic Switch so right, come over, put it to rest. Oh my god, like they're absolutely four of the best songs. It's all such a nice flow through as well. I'm so much happier, I'm so much happier than this, than The Loneliest Time. I just, I don't, when you're not vibing, it's also not enjoyable for me when I'm not vibing, let alone for you guys who are watching. So I like it when I vibe it and it's just fun because that's why I do it, to experience the music, to have fun, to rock out, to have different emotions playing through, have a different thoughts going through your head. That's enough for me chatting. You've obviously seen me react. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. What's your favorite song? Do you prefer this over the loneliest time? For me, I absolutely do. A bit more lovely. I do love being sad and lonely, but I guess it just wasn't sad and lonely enough for me. I haven't listened to that album since the reaction. I probably should go back in now, but I guess a bit of a fresher mindset and see where I'm at with it. However, if you want to go watch my reactions to that or my other Carly, they are on the channel or on Patreon. Links are down below. It's all on card. All that jazz. I need to hear what you guys think. But other than that, hope you're having a good I'm going to again.